Let me show you an example of a circuit that contains a NOR, a NAND, and an XNOR, just so you can see um, what it looks like in a basic logic circuit and also how to construct the truth table for that circuit. So um, suppose we have inputs A and B going into a NAND gate, and let's say we have input C and D going into a NOR gate, and then let's take those outputs and pipe those as inputs into an XNOR. Okay, so here's our logical circuit. Um, this is the first time we've done an, um, an example with four inputs. So it's gonna be the same uh, process for constructing the truth table, um, but we're going to have, this time we're gonna have four inputs. So that means that to hit all of the possible combinations, we're going to have to count in binary, and we have four bits here, so we're going to have to count all the way to 15. So that'll be 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1101, So those are all, all of our possible inputs for our truth table. Now, um, technically for our truth table, we just have to have all the inputs and then the output that corresponds to all of these combinations. But if I have a circuit like this, I like to put in some extra columns just for myself so that I can keep track of the logic as I'm moving through this circuit. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a column for A and B, um, and then I can easily invert that column to give me um, A NAND B. So if I start with A and B, I just have to look at the inputs that are on A and B. So just these first two columns right here and and them together. So zero and zero is zero, zero and zero is zero. These will all be zeros. Zero and one is also zero. One and zero is also zero. And we're not gonna get a one until we get down to here. So one and one is one, and these will all be ones. Now, I can take this column and I can invert it. So A and B not is the same thing as NAND. Okay, so this column right here is going to give me the output of this gate. Um, the reason why I like to do this AND first is now I don't have to look at any of the inputs. I just take this column and wherever I see a zero, I put a one. So this will be one, 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 zero, 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 zero. So this here now is one of the inputs that are is coming into this XNOR. Great. So now let's do the same thing down here. So this is going to be an OR, and then the output of that OR gets negated to um, give us the NOR. So first, if we do C or D, then I just have to look at what's on these columns here. So these second, um, second two inputs. So I'm looking at C or D, this will give me zero. C, um, zero or one is one. This is zero, this is one. No, I'm sorry, this is one. This is zero. Zero or one is one. One or zero is one. One or one is one. Zero or zero is zero. And zero or one is one. One or zero is one. This is also one. This is zero, this is one. This is one, and this is one. Um, so just to keep it organized, I'll put some delimiters here so I don't lose track of where my inputs line up. There we go. Okay, great. So that's C or D. Um, to NOR that, I'm just going to take this C or D and I'm going to knot it. So I get to take this column and just wherever I see a zero, I'm gonna put a one. Wherever I see a one, I'm gonna put a zero. One zero 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 one zero 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 one zero zero zero. Great. 
So now I have this column for A, um, A NAND B, and I have this column for C NOR D. Now these two columns are my inputs to the X NOR. So how about um, I'll do XOR first, and then whatever that column is, I'll just invert it, and then I'll have my final answer. So let's do that. We want to do A, B, not, XOR, C, or D, not. So I'm taking this column, and I'm taking this column, and I'm taking the XOR between those two. So remember, exclusive OR is only one if one of them is one, not both and not neither. Okay, so this is going to be 0, 1, 1, 1. This is going to be 0, 1, 1, 1. This is going to be 0, 1, 1, 1. This is going to be 1, 0, 0, 0. Okay, great. Now, to get my final F, I take this column and I just invert it because I did XOR. Um, this should actually be XNOR. So in order to turn this into an XNOR, I'm just going to pop an inverter on that, which is going to invert all of these outputs. This will be 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, and 0, 1, 1, 1. And um, like I said before, technically for your truth table, all you need is the output and the corresponding inputs. But if you want to put columns in here for your intermediary steps, just to keep track of them and keep it organized, that's totally fine. And I highly encourage you to do that. Um, so let me know if you have questions about the NOR, the NAND, the XNOR, and um, also two-stage circuits like this and how to construct the truth table.